Well, tonight is my last night in the 911 Turbo S, and I figured I'd bring you guys a night drive and a sound system test of this Buamesta sound system. I'll show you guys what the gauges look like, the headlights. <laughs> Take this thing for one last drive. I really enjoyed my week in this Turbo S. It's been a really mind-bending experience. My internal organs are a little bit rearranged. I've had to breathe around corners in ways that I haven't had to in the past. The performance here is pretty unrivaled. It's an amazing, amazing car to drive on the street. And it remains to be a pretty enjoyable and fun car to drive on the street. It's definitely grown on me as I've spent more time on it, kind of peel back the layers to its personality. Despite all the tech, despite all the, the modern feel of this car, it is a really fun experience behind the wheel. I love the interior materials, the fit, the finish, the look of everything. These digital gauges, I think, work well with this car, but it still just is surprisingly tactile and enjoyable. All right. Let's go for one last drive here. We'll end the video with a sound test and uh, we'll listen to just the natural engine notes in the beginning here. In sport mode, in a parking structure, put the windows down. This sport exhaust has a really nice low guttural tone to it. I think it works so well adding personality to this Turbo S. As a little refresher, we have a 3.7 liter twin turbo, flat six, makes 640 horsepower, 590 pound-feet of torque. Speed PDK zero to sixty and what Porsche claims two point six seconds, but I swear this week we've beaten that multiple times. We do have a front nose lift on this car, which is great, and it works pretty quickly. You can even save lift positions in different areas. It'll use the GPS raises and lowers very quickly, which is great. This is the perfect daily driver, do-it-all Porsche. performance is monstrous. In sport mode, you get some pops and burbles from the exhaust. <laughs> In sport plus, things get a little bit more serious. And then in normal, things just calm down and this turns into a really nice daily driver. Super relaxing quiet, comfortable. The ride quality here is pretty impressive too. You hit some larger bumps and imperfections in the road and it does jostle you around a little bit, but for the most part, the ride quality here is surprisingly good. We have standard Apple CarPlay. It's wireless in this 911 Turbo. No Android Auto. you want about your Tesla. It doesn't sound like that. It doesn't have the drama, the feel. I love the steering in this 911 Turbo. It 
weights up just beautifully around corners. You have so much confidence. The front end is super sharp, incredibly responsive. I remember the day when 911s used to be a little bit light on the front end. Oh, well, that's no longer the case. <laughs> the range of luxuries and amenities and comforts and just outright brutality of the performance of this 911 Turbo S. It's pretty unrivaled. It's pretty incredible to experience it on the street. I mean, you can't really unleash the true power of this thing on anywhere except for the racetrack, but... does all this while still remaining enjoyable all of the time. The PDK is just snappy enough and responsive enough to remind you that you're in something special. But you add in that front end nose lift and it has a sport response mode that lasts 20 seconds, gives you the most aggressive shifts. It's not like an overboost setting. This new 992 Turbo S, we have full boost all of the time, but it just lasts 20 seconds, long enough to enjoy on an entrance ramp. <laughs> Hitting a little bit of traffic here. definitely been more self-conscious driving this thing around this week. Of course, it is almost a quarter million dollar car. As spec, this is 226 grand. Starting price is $203,000. Not cheap, but 911 Turbo S's never have been. For the money, though, you are getting so much performance, so much car. P0 run flats. I usually don't like run flats, but these tires have been fantastic. They're quiet, they're grippy. They give you just enough feedback to know exactly what's going on with the car around a corner. I think if you were tracking this, you'd want something a little bit more aggressive, but as it sits, I love the way this car is set up. It's just so much fun. And it's easy to drive too. It's incredibly approachable on the street makes you feel like a hero, but it rewards the skilled drivers as well. If I had one complaint, this PDK gearbox is a little bit sensitive to downshift sometimes. I'd like for it to ride out that torque a little bit more. And in Sport Plus, I feel like they were a little bit too conservative with the tuning wouldn't mind it revving out a little bit more and downshifting slightly more aggressive, more like it is in the sport response mode, but all the time in Sport Plus. <laughs> Stop start just activated. A few of the settings are hidden in the infotainment, like the stop start button, but for the most part you get physical controls and buttons for everything that you need on a regular basis window switches, sunroof controls. I still haven't really found out where the uh, dimmer switch is on uh, the displays. I would like that to be a little bit more obvious. But again, this is the first time I've driven this thing at night, so I haven't really needed it yet. The way the power band builds in this car is unlike anything else. Those turbos spool up and it's a really amazing experience. It just gives you this really satisfying shove. You can hear everything, the sound that it makes. It's a very unique experience. It's not like any other cars that I've driven. The turbos have always driven a little bit differently. They've always kind of had this perfect blend of usability and speed. 
There's a lot to like here. It is a whole lot of car. For me, it's either one of these or a GT3. It doesn't quite howl away like a GT3 does, but it, I think it makes a good enough noise. It's a, it's a guttural, throaty sound. And I think it still sounds special. <laughs> Look at these headlights too, just amazing. Really incredible coverage at night. Just oh my gosh, it's like it's daylight in some sections. All right, well, let's go into Apple CarPlay and start a brief sound system test. Audio controls on the steering wheel, you can change to the next track or adjust your volume. Mesta sounds amazing. One of the best sound systems I've ever heard in a sports car, for sure. Definitely worth the upgrade. taste of what it sounds like if you're wearing good quality headphones, which you should be with the binaural audio in this video. The rest of the sound system just lies in that sport exhaust, and I think it just sounds fantastic. You can play this car like a musical instrument with a PDK. <laughs> Pops and burbles are just enough to keep you interested and excited, but not overdone in my opinion. doesn't take long for things to happen. I think some would probably argue that this is too much car for the street. And in some respects, I tend to agree, but for those short little bursts, those little moments that you get to actually enjoy this thing, I think it's worth it. It's the wow factor and the pucker factor for passengers isn't to be diminished, isn't to be ignored. Of course, you can really enjoy this thing on a racetrack, but I think there's just enough involvement and engagement with the rest of the driving experience. You don't have to always be hammering this car to have fun in it. 
but it is definitely an exercise in self-control. a perfection to the way Porsche packages their cars and the way the interface and the controls are laid out, the way you interact with the car, the feel of everything, the responsiveness of everything, it's just all right. It feels like it was tailored specifically to you as a driving enthusiast. It's like a perfectly fitted suit. After driving a lot of other cars for a while and getting into a Porsche, it's amazing just how right everything is from the driving position to the way the engine feels and responds and the transmission tuning. Everything is just calibrated the way it should be. And uh, I really do think this new turbo delivers. I'm, I was kind of worried that this new 992 generation would become a little bit too refined, too distant, too perfect. And uh, no, it's just, just perfect enough I guess I don't know it's just it's really really good they've hit the mark with this turbo S and for what it is and for what it needs to be this isn't a GT3 it's not the screaming track car that that car is and it's not as maybe balanced and good natured as a regular Carrera a Carrera S there is a uh, a monster behind the silver veil here and uh, I think uh, <laughs> definitely worth the price of entry that's for sure we'll hit the nose lift button here I love how quickly it responds if you really need it at a moment's notice it'll deliver all right guys well there's your POV night drive in the 911 Turbo S. What a joy this has been to drive this week. If you have the means, highly recommend one. Fun car. I mean, what were you expecting? <laughs> All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. If you want to see more on this 911 Turbo S, head on over to the Windy Road Magazine YouTube channel. We've got day drives, night drives that I just filmed tonight. If you don't want to hear me, yapping along you just want to hear the car winding road is your place to do that till then though thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video hopefully you enjoyed this one take care